goes down into it. Right? Yeah. Like, it's not just a round cup. It's so far made yeah. this so that if it tips oh, over, that it, fits? it doesn't spill. Who has real chutzpah here? I probably did that. <laughs> Nadav, pull your hood back. What? Pull your hood back. You saw me put it in there. Yeah. And we know that it's in there because I can dip it in and then you see. There's definitely ink, right? No question about that. What is he going to do? He's going to spill it on your head. Is he really going to drop? Is he drop? really? Oh, cool. Can I see? <laughs> okay, the way this is made... The P of the the opening is always higher than the level of the ink, so it falls inside itself. Okay? It's mentioned already in a mission. By the way, I was shown this by someone who makes it, a quill cutter from America, an uncle of one of my students. And he said, I found this in British manuscripts. Wow. And I said to myself, can't be. They had scribes because they were illiterate. Yeah. We had scribes because we were learned, <laughs> and people wrote and read books. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Um, <coughs> I do? Yeah, well, you need to learn how to make letters. Just that watch, course yeah. you come and take when you're 18. So, okay, okay, you can do that. You want to be a now, summer? we're going to do... You want a cat? Rina. Do I have a cat? Rina. Pull his hood off. Avi. Pull his hood off. I don't know if he's on the table. Avi, they call you? It's a bed. Oh, the cat just passed here. Go check the table, guys. Close it. Nadav, just sit down. That's right. That's called sirtut. And make sure that all of our writing is even. I prefer not. Okay. Nadav? Okay. Keep that. Let it dry. Nadav? Yeah. And if I don't know your name, I can't write it. Huh? No. Noah, Nun, Vav, Nun, Nukuda, Ayin, Nun, Nukuda, Ayin, Hey. So, what what's the name? What's the name of the Nukuda? No, no, like what's the name? What's the name of the Nukuda? Noah, Noah, just the dot. What the dot? Don't write that's with. like the vowel. Um, yeah, no, but the cat usually. No, what's the name of the Nukuda? No. Cool. How did he get up there? What? He's there because that's usually where the matzah is stored, so he likes the smell. Okay. Green eyes. Who's older between you? Okay. I'm the youngest. I know the feeling. I mean, Okay. No. Now notice something very special. So it's down, but shot. Yeah, because it has a word, uh, letter from Shatnez gets. That's right. Excellent. Then Shatnez gets Is letters. Because like they have, have three. They have right. three fingers. That's Ooh, right. So. Where this is a classic. No. Uh, that's the trip trick? Uh-huh. Why do you okay. learn this? From other Sofrim. Oh. I teach Sofrim that are beginners. And I was taught by Sophie. Can I take it to my school? That's very good. Shotman's guess. Very cool. So does it mix with the right things? To write things means to move ink around on. What does that mean? It means I can't erase away something. So I can't, let's say, okay, our hey 
is a dalid with a left leg. I'm going to give you that left leg, I promise. But let's say I wanted a dalid and I made a hay by mistake. If I erase, it's possible. If I make the dalid by erasing the left leg, it's possible. For when we're writing Tillin, when we're writing Mizuzah, when we're writing a Sefer Torah or a Nibima, when we're, if I were a co, a, um, a Melech, I have a special method by the Sefer Torah. And those are the majority of things. None, again. <coughs> What's in here? I'll show you. I promise you. A little, some note, and we'll see it all. None. Something that got him French toasted. <laughs> <laughs> what? He lit the forest on fire? Yeah, we're not exactly sure. <coughs> Give me a little crown anyway. Yay. Yay. Give me a nice, very graceful leg. So you can run to do mitzvot. And a bet. Oh, cool. I've never seen that. A bet look like Abby. Right here, he did for Abby. Oh, yeah. Right. Avi had a bit also. How does a lamed look like? A lamed is like a chaf. It's like a small chaf with a big vav sitting on top. Hmm. And a little crown here. I get all the crowns. You get lots of crowns. Let it dry. Right. Okay, I'm putting this aside. In fact, put it down by Emma. And uh, that's safe the way it is. Hey, you wait. Want? How about one for our big sister, too? No, no, she's not here. She'll come, she'll go. Yeah? yeah? I, mean, I think you can take care of her. That but that's sweet. very considerate, that's very wonderful. <laughs> What's her name? Abitalba. Abitalba, that's lovely. I'll show you something. She'll bring her firstborn son for his tool. So this fellow said, who brought me this inkwell, that he got it from a British manuscript. <coughs> it has to be earlier work, and we looked, a friend of mine helped me look, and we found a Mishnah. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Mikvah Ot. Now, there's a problem with this in the time of the Beit HaMikdash. If we wanted it to be Tahor, it needs to be dipped in the mikvah, but because it has this air space, you can never get it totally filled right. without drilling a hole in the side. And the Mishnah says so. <coughs> Here's the Rambam on the Mishnah with a picture of this in Wow. Wow. What? Okay. Yeah. Here's, I mean, it's a crude picture, but here's Still the documented. idea of this kind of inkwell, that the walls go down inside of it, and you have to make a nekev in order to Wait, tow that it. Wait, Yeah, well, they could be ink. It's just a picture of the shape, really. It's not silly. Oh, I could shake it, by the way, and fake it out, and ink will come out. So we could Wait, get ink out, and I get ink... No, no, no. No, no, no. Listen. No, that's... <laughs> <not true. laughs> no, you know, of all people, I don't want to shake it. You'll succeed. I I, no, no, the doubt just leaves. I have no doubt that you could do it, but... Um, I can do it. I am, let's listen to the <coughs> I empty it with an eyedropper. And then I wash it out, etc. So we don't need this anymore. This you saw. Now let's look at the way the bottom are made. 